All right, so I'm talking to Peggy Brennan, who is the co-developer uh, with her husband Tom of this incredible uh, green garage. It's on Cass uh, in downtown Detroit. Peggy, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thank it's you. It's like 100 degrees out there it today. It is, you can see by my fan. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing natural air conditioning right now. <laughs> well, well, organic air exactly. conditioning, that is exactly. very good. Yes. So it's been, for me, it's been a year since I checked in with you. That's a long time. I can see that uh, scan uh, across here. There is a lot going on in the green garage. And um, tell us, uh, give us an update of uh, where are you? Are, I hear you're close now to being uh, able to welcome your first tenants. We really are. We're just about at the very end of the construction process. I would say we're within about a month of opening. So we should be getting a certificate of occupancy, I would say. I would say within a few weeks now. And we've already been working with the first tenants that are coming into the building. We've already got about six of them lined up. So it's fantastic. Right now we're working on the finishes. We're going through the basically the punch list, finishing up the HVAC system. We're, we're getting finishes done, such as the reception furniture, the library furniture. Uh, the, the furniture that's going to be handmade, we're working on right mm, now. Beautiful. So this um, project is both a, a great example of um, uh, adaptive reuse of, of historical space. Yes. And so it, it is an example of, of green building. Uh, and sustainable uh, uh, building practices. Uh, and it is also the purpose of the building, once it's complete, is to actually act as an incubator uh, for small, uh, young entrepreneurs who are interested in sustainable, healthy living, triple bottom line business ideas. Is that right? Exactly. It's, it's going to be a net zero energy building. We restored it to its historic authenticity. It used to be a Model T showroom. Uh, at the point when we open, we're going to be an incubator for green businesses. We're expecting to house eventually about 15 businesses within the, the building. You mentioned that you were working with uh, a small group already around their business plans. Yes. So what's what's that? How how is that going? That's your first group. Then. It's it is our first group. We've just completed the first four weeks of working with three different businesses. One of them is an eco waste uh, group. One of them is a business called Mend, with it, which is a furniture repair business, and one of them is a pedal cab company. That's beautiful. Yeah. Tell us the story about this beautiful wall, just briefly. Oh, yeah, this, this wall was designed and built by Kevin Gardner, who is a design student at the College for Creative Studies. Kevin just graduated, and this is now part of his portfolio. And basically, this is all scrap wood that was used in our construction. We gave him a huge pile at the beginning of the summer last year, and we said to him, Kevin, build a wall out of this, and that's what he came up with. Wow, that's that's incredible. Yeah. So the alley, the green alley on the side of your building also was a project that you really finished um, earlier. We did. We finished that last summer. And, and, and I saw a plaque out there. Yes. And I yeah. saw a before and after. And so if you can imagine uh, an alley that looks like a typical but really, mm. really uh, tough place to yes. walk down. Yes. Something that uh, with dumpsters and trash and, and uh, bad drainage. And now the, your, uh, the green alley as part of the green garage project here in downtown Detroit is a model for wastewater and stormwater runoff. Is that exactly, correct? Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. We basically took everything out of the alley, all of the cement, the weeds, everything that was there, put in a foundation, repaired the water main, repaired the sewer, put in a center part that is basically a historic brick and then cement, and on either side permeable pavers, on either side of that gardens with Michigan native plants, which have been thriving this summer. So it's absolutely beautiful. We are using it as a community space a lot. It's amazing how many people go up and down that alley. At the end of this month, we're going to hold two events in the alley. We're going to have a movie night where we're going to show a Charlie Chaplin movie for people, and then the next night we're going to have a dinner party in the alley. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So people, if, if people are interested, they're thinking about starting a business, mm -hmm. like to know more about a green business, sustainability, green building, yep. how can people uh, find you? You're located physically on CAS and about Willis, between Willis and... We're, we're actually about Canfield and 2nd. Oh, Canfield and 2nd. And we're 4444 2nd. That's right. Or around right around second. where the traffic jam is or by the Bronx Bar. Okay, and if people want to find you uh, via email or the web, how would they, how would they do it? It would be Green Garage Detroit Detroit at gmail.com and our site is greengaragedetroit.com. Peggy, what a fantastic project for Detroit. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for your time today. Thanks.